Hey everybody, John here. Welcome to Let Let's Play Payday 2. And with me is uh, my friend Nick. Hello. And Nick is going to be sort of taking the lead here because he has played this game quite a bit. I never have. Yeah. And, okay, okay. There appeared, apparently this game is about clowns. Kind of. So, uh, Payday... Oh, and, uh, sorry, I didn't know you were telling me to introduce this game. Yeah. So, Payday oh. is... Um, Payday 2 is the sequel to Payday the Heist, which came out, I think, in the rise of the popularity of The Dark Knight. Uh, you'll remember the famous intro... The, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the bank I see. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, it's a four-player cooperative game uh, similar to Left 4 Dead, which we've played a lot of. Um, oh. And it involves kind of doing a bunch of different criminal heists. Um, Payday the Heist was very limited because it wasn't it didn't have the complex panic system that Payday 2 does. And so a lot of the heists were either hard locked to being um, stealthy where the game where the um, the mission would immediately go to panic mode or um, <clears throat> the missions would start automatically where the cops already knew and you were just trying to run around and evade the police or kill them, whatever. Okay, now here we are on the title screen. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. A lot of smoke, lots of burning money floating upwards. Yeah. So to your... that, that's, a federal, that's a federal crime, I should point out, destroying U.S. currency. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm dismayed to discover that crime is being depicted in this game, Nick. <laughs> Uh, this is this is a family let's play channel. To your left, uh, you'll see your da default character. If I remember right, that should be Dallas, and he should have the American flag on a clown mask. He does. Okay. Yes. So there's the four different heisters. They all have s different specialties. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but you can build your own specialties from the skill and perks tree. But why don't we fire up Crime Net? New message from Bane to Agent Flandry. Welcome to Greetings, Agent Flandry, and welcome to Crime.net. If you are reading this, it means you have been cleared for access to the hub of our organization. Congratulations, you have taken your first step into a larger world. Oh, I'm going to be a Jedi. Awesome. Let's have a look at the basic functions of Crime.net. Don't worry if it seems complex at first. Everything is more or less self-explanatory. Jobs. Okay. I wonder if there's an actual Crime.net and what's there. I don't know. We'll have to see. I would like if it was just this. So we're gonna you're gonna make a decision right now. Do you wanna play in public servers with people or do you want to No Okay. So you'll wanna press F and then click friends only. Alright, F. F Okay, it's, oh okay, friends only. So right now you should just be seeing some basic missions because you don't have any skill points or ranks or anything. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you'll just be seeing the basic heists. Now you can run these same heists with increased difficulty, okay. and that also increases um, the amount of security, the um, the level of police response, okay. and uh, the payday as well. So you get more money for okay. doing the same thing, but it's harder. So, um, what's a mission that catches your fancy? Just based on these names. Uh, we probably shouldn't go. Probably should avoid the one with the little yellow skulls because those are the harder ones. They are harder, but you only. I think as a rank zero, you should only see one or two skulls. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, and I could take you through those easily. I play this game a lot. Wait, things are appearing and disappearing. What, is that like servers becoming available? No. So, so the way that it works. It, it simulates an actual crime.net. So these are contracts. Different oh, people I see. saying, hey, I want you to rob this bank. I want you to, you know, hit this jewelry store. I see. Okay. And so you have a limited amount of time to select them, sit, confirm that you'll do them, and then form a party. Once you, once you okay. select a contract, you'll have all the time you need to get a party, though. Okay. 
my, my crime sense is tingling a moment, just <laughs> let me reroute. Send it. There's like, if you could see me, there's like lines emanating out of my head. <laughs> Three of them. Oh, how about uh, jewelry store? Alright, yeah. Contract. So you want to accept that contract, and you want to make it so that it's friends only. Zero. I don't know what that means. Uh, the reputation is your skill level. So as you complete heists, you get XP, you get skills, skill points, and your reputation level goes up. And that lets you invest points in doing things like uh, getting bonus ammo, having bonus equipment to start off. Okay, so let's see here. Bane wants you to do a classic jewelry heist. Get in, grab the loot, and get out. I know it's spelled differently, but I like to imagine it's like Bane from Batman. <laughs> We're okay to the jewelry store. Check the back office for a safe. Who could have... I, I don't think they could have known when they made this game that the Dark Knight Rises was going to come and Bane was going to oh, be yeah. central. Otherwise, they definitely would have spelled it differently. Back and get the jewelry to the escape car. Okay, that's a terrible Bane impression. <laughs> Steal any other valuables in the store. Potential stealth bonus, plus 5% experience points. Is that like what if we can get in and out without the cops, without being detected yes. or something? Yes, and we're going to... So the ultimate goal with a lot of these jobs is to do it stealthy. It, you'll notice next to the contracts, there's a little, like, blue little Pac-Man ghost. Those those contracts can be stealth. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, now, how do I invite you? Do I do that here? What do, I, do I... Have you... Do I accept? Accept the contract. Or... Okay. And it's going to bring you to a little room... And then it's going to pop up on my map that you're doing. I'm looking, I'm looking very smug there. His arms crossed like that. Yeah. All right, let's invite friends. Then. I I can join automatically. So here we go. Oh okay. Hey, you're not wearing a mask. I'm not. My game might have just crashed though. Also, you've got like Wolverine sideburns. Yes. Uh, actually, I'm gonna give you a guess to see if you can figure out who this character is. He disappeared. Yeah, because my game just crashed. Uh-oh. Oh, oh shh. Thanks to the magic of video editing. All right, so that happened. I, li I like how the Mastermind actually has a skill, a skill called Stockholm Syndrome that will make civilians... Yes, happy. yes. So uh, while you look at that, and while my computer decides to stop being a shithead... Oh, oh, oh shit, that's awesome. The assault rifle skill is called the Kilmer. There are a ton of references in this game that I don't get. If you've seen... If you've seen oh, he heat. Oh, heat, God. Oh, oh, why don't... Remember, he, remember Val Kilmer's running up down the street with the assault rifle blazing yes. away? Kill me. Good. Okay. Don't crash again. Okay, so it looks like the Mastermind has a lot of abilities that sort of like like, like buff teammates yes. and whatnot. Yes. Okay. So, uh, as I was saying before the game kicked me, uh, I was wondering to see if you might recognize who this character is. Gambit? Uh, let me see if that will help. This... Oh, uh, well, no, his eyes just look all fucked up. Eh? I think I just th thought of Gambit because you're holding what looks like a, like a, like a magically charged... Yes, yeah, so that, that represents my infamy level. I'll, ex oh, I'll explain okay. that is in a second. Uh, I'm playing as the character John Wick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, so there are a bunch of different characters. Um... After the four default uh, uh, characters, they released an update. Oh, that's like an actual DLC thing. You can look like John. You can yes. be John Wick. John Wick. Oh, that's John awesome. Wick also comes with his own unique perk deck, called the Hitman perk deck. Should I start? Should I start the heist? Yeah, go ahead and start it. Okay. So, these come with uh, some. Most of the missions come with pre assets. So you see Bane's plan, very straightforward. Go in. Break the jewelry up, get it to the van. Stealth is an option. Uh, loadout lets you rechoose your items. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I currently have the the AMCR rifle, the Shimano 88 pistol, weapon butt. I assume that's my like my melee yes. attack or something. Uh, frag grenade, two piece suit. And I've got an empty slot there, which I I guess if I had more had more stuff I could put. Yeah. There. When you get basic skills, you'll unlock them. 
So under assets, uh, it shows the different things that you can buy. So right now it tells you like the risk level, zero. Uh, the only available resources near this jewelry store are local metro cops. Which means that it will be all that we encounter on this mission if we go loud. Oh, I see. Okay, so there won't be like like SWAT teams or whatever right. shooting at us. Uh, you can buy the vantage point, uh, which gives you a bonus area to access. It's almost always 100% guard free and safe. And body bags, which lets you just kind of uh, bag up extra people you kill, a bunch of them. So hit ready when you're there. We go. Okay, so there's one AI partner, the other AI partner is just hanging out back here. Right now we're in casing mode. Our masks are off. Uh, there's nothing really we can we can't pull out our guns or do anything. Bonnie. Yes, she's a DLC character. No, she's free. She was DLC, I think. There's Sokol just chilling across the street. Yes. So. These people are just civilians, like you can just walk straight through them, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you come in here, you want to follow me. Okay, G to put on mask, at which point, I assume once they see you wearing the mask, they'll know yes. something's up. So we can come in here, we can look around, you know. Here's all the jewelry, we'll want to grab this eventually. Um, for right now, we just want to figure out what's going on. Okay, so you see, turn behind you. You see that red outline? I see a guy red outline. Yeah, there outline. are people you can see through the wall that are red outlined. See them? Yes. That's a guard. If you bump into a guard, then you will automatically pull out your gun because he'll feel the gun and then everything will go from there. Oh, like if you mean like physically contact yeah. with him? Okay. So. Oh, he's moving this. He's, he's yeah, on the move. So we'll want to get out of his way. I'm getting bad screen tearing here, which is weird because I turned V-Sync on. Huh. Mm, it oh. might be um, the GPU flush. What's that? Uh, it, it uses some sort of comp weird programming thing to constantly clear your GPU. That way the game can run even on lower performing computers. But it makes uh -huh. it do some weird um. hiccups sometimes. Well, maybe I can adjust that in the settings after, after yeah. this Yeah. So, Ooh, there's that guard. yeah, so with most of these missions, there's alternative ways in. So we just walked in the front door, but back here, there are these two windows we could lockpick or smash if we were feeling, you know, uh, daring. People will hear glass break, though. Guard, careful. All right, yeah. yeah, I figured the lockpicking would be the stealthier yeah. option. You kind of want to just stay out of this guy's way. Uh, one other thing is, if, he's, if they see you, they'll start to notice, and you'll see that little... Question oh, he's mark got a question pop mark. up above their head, and you have a, a limited amount of time to get out of his way or stop doing whatever you're doing that's suspicious. Uh, All right, I've, mo so, I've moved out around the corner and then out yeah. of sight. So just like standing in his way like this kind of gets him suspicious, but very slowly. Whereas if I, the okay. closer you get, then he gets suspicious faster. And then if you're doing something like lock picking a door, uh, cable tying someone, shooting someone it would get them uh, alerted faster. Right. So, uh, you don't have a silenced weapon, so there's no actual way for you to kill anybody without it being quiet. Uh, so, it's I'm going to leave the lead up to you. If you want me to just start taking people out silently, uh, let me know. If you want to just start well, shooting this up. I, I, I want to try I want to try to do it sort of like uh whoops. Sort of like uh like, I mean, like like a low-level guy. I don't want to take too much advantage of the fact of your abilities. Right. So what you might want to try doing then is waiting for him to come around this corner, uh, putting your mask on when his back is turned, and you can yeah. uh, hit E to use your melee weapon. Mm -hmm. So you'll want to try beating him to death because your gun will make noise. All right. And do, so I, do, I, I just wait till his back is turned? Uh, yeah, you can do it now if you wanted uh, but he's yeah, he's just coming around the corner. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna. No, see. it's fine. No, he's he's, he's question marking. Yeah. yeah, then you might want to back up a little bit then. 
You'd think me sort of like awkwardly backing away and ducking around a corner would rouse some. You you would, but funnily enough, the uh, suspicion in this game works kind of weird. All right. Oops! Just, oh, it yeah, took me too long to yeah, get. Oh no! All right. It's, oh, Doesn't it's, matter. It's, it's time to go. 